Good morning there, Scouter Wolves, and welcome to McCants Studios. Today, we will be witnessing Stoddard Elementary's first distant learning newscast. This is going to take place daily for our morning announcements. So, as we get started, I just want to say on behalf of myself and our community and our teachers that we miss all of our students so much and we can't wait to see you again. Remember, this is still school, even though we are far apart. It is important that you still live out the Stoddard core values. Make sure that you are paying attention, um, raising your hand if you are in a setting like Zoom or if you're experiencing something else through Office 365. When you're in a whole setting, please make sure that you are following the rules that your teachers have set in place for you so we can make sure that learning is still happening the Stoddard way. Quote of the day. It says, in a world obsessed with getting my way, kindness seeks the good of others. Challenge 24 today, problem one is 7723. Problem two is 5239. Student reminder our core value of the week we're focused on this week is innovation. Innovation is the creation of development of a new method, ideas, products that improves efficiency. So it makes things easier for humans. Second student tip of the day. Remember the strategies that you have been taught thus far this year. My third grader, for instance, last night as we're doing a math problem, he all of a sudden forgot how to count back. And I said, wow, that's a strategy that you learned in second grade and continue to learn in third grade. But since we're home, you magically forgot it. So then we practiced it and then it, poof, it came right back to him. So if you need to remember those strategies set in place that was taught to you by your teachers, hey, Jot it down, ask a friend, send an email to your teacher. Use those strategies that helped you become successful. Parent tip of the day, breathe. This is what teachers do every day. But no, in all seriously parents, we wanna make sure that you are doing just okay as well. As we experience this digital learning platform and we try to make it most efficient and the best for our students, we need you to make sure that you're breathing. Students may be frustrated. You may get frustrated because you didn't learn that way. It is okay. We are compiling resources and we are here at home working to ensure that you and your new profession as a teacher is able to teach effectively. So please, if you have any questions or you have any comments or the content is unclear of what your students should be learning, please reach out to us. Now, if that just doesn't work, we have a thing called a mindful moment that we practice with our students at Sonic. It's called Take Five. And yes, all you need is your hand. So take five is something that we utilize. So if students get frustrated with a problem, they can walk away and then come back to the learning. But this is how it happens. So the student walks away and they're so upset. I can't do this. Oh my God, I can't do it. I give up. I can't do it. We walk over and we simply say, you know what? It looks like that you're very frustrated. Let's take a break and let's take five. So then you take them over and they just put up their hand. And as they go up, they breathe in. Go down, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. 
Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. That is called take five. Hey, parents, who knows? Sometimes you may need to take 10. I get it. So, moving right along, our STEM activity for the week that will be sent to teachers on the day that you have STEM is this. You will be working with a plastic bag full of water. Please make sure it's sealed. And pencil. The objective of the lesson is being able to take these pencils and successfully put four of them through a baggie filled with water. There will be more information and follow-up questions sent to your teacher for you to answer so Mr. McCann's can ensure that you are engaged in this activity. Stay tuned for more information via your teacher on the day of STEM class. Shout outs. We want to give a big shout out to Miss Kim. Miss Kim, we love you so, so, so much for being there in our time of need. You ensured that our school was clean. You ensured that even though we weren't in school, you took all the precautions to get all those tiny little nooks and crannies, make sure that the mice and our other little friends around the building were staying away from us and, and, and ensured that we were able to learn efficiently. So Miss Kim, big shout out to you. We love you. Moving forward, in closing today, I just want to reiterate that students, we miss you so much. And as we work hard from home to give you the best education that we can with the given situations and circumstances that we are enduring, we want you to remain calm as well. This is all new for us and we're going to get to it together. Collaboration. So go out and have a great day on purpose. Signing off from McCann Studios, Mr. McCann's. Have a great day.